morning children so yesterday previous class we have completed the the nice words to say the textbook book is also completed today i am going to teach you the new lesson that is my home your home okay now children open your textbooks and look at your textbooks so only the two sessions today i will complete only the two sessions so first page look at page number 14 get started get started here they have given us food grains food items write their names my name rhymes with marley marley barley you might like to spread me one on a slice of bread so that is a butter bread butter third one i make things sweet so third one is a sugar fourth one when you chop me i can make you cry so that is a onion you can bake me into a cake floor floor once i was a fresh grape when i dry up you put me in a cake resign resign what is it resign so write them by your own okay now next step look in page number 15 once upon a time there was a still so children today i will say only the two sections first and second so tomorrow i will continue for the third and fourth once upon a time there was a little mouse called misty what is it a little mouse is called misty mouse a little mouse what is its name misty he lived in the country where do he live he lived in the country One day he asked a little mouse to call Mickey. So one more the mouse. What is its name? Mickey. Mickey. From the city to visit him. So one day he asked a little mouse to call Mickey for the, from the city to visit him. So the Misty make a call to Mickey to visit him in the city. So it lives in the city so it, it is a country mouse and it is a city mouse when Nikki arrived they sat down for dinner misty gave him barley and cauliflower to eat Nikki was surprised so Nikki what what he gave to misty barley barley and cauliflower to eat Mickey's was a surprise. Really, he said, You do not eat well at all. You should see how I live. So, Misty, it lives in the country. Mickey, it lives in the city. So, Mickey, it visit to the Misty. It visited to the Misty. It is a village. So, so what it gave the Misty gave to the Mickey? What it gave? Cauliflower and a barley. What it gave? Cauliflower. So Misty is a country mouse, Mickey is a city mouse. So the city mouse visited to country, visited to country. So the Mickey gave barley and cauliflower to make, to have its dinner, to have its dinner. Okay, na children? Really he said, you do not eat well at all. So the Mickey is saying, what you are eating, you do not eat well food, you do not eat well food. You should see how I live. So Mickey is saying, so you should see how I live in the city, what food you are eating, what is this food, barley and cauliflower. I have all sorts of fine things to eat every day. So Mickey is saying, I have all the things to eat every day. You must come to visit me. You must come to visit me. So firstly, the Mickey visited Misty. So it gave barley and cauliflower. The fresh barley and cauliflower. 
but uh, Nikki, what it is saying? But you have to visit me. The mystery, you have to visit me. So, firstly, the Nikki, the city country visited to country. The city mouse visited to country. Next, uh, the mystery want to visit the Nikki. You must come to visit me. It is really very nice to live in the city. So, the Nikki is saying to mystery, you have to visit me. So, you have to visit me. It's really nice to live in the city. It is really nice to live in the city. Little Misty did just that. A few weeks later, he went to the city to visit his friend. So, Misty what he did? After a few days, he went to visit the Mickey. Mickey took Misty to a cupboard. So, Mickey took Misty to a cupboard. Where it took the cupboard. Cupboard. Misty took Misty also. It was in the kitchen of the house. It was a kitchen. Where this cupboard was? It was in the kitchen of the house. It was in the kitchen of the house. It was in the kitchen of the house where he lived. That climbed on to the lowest shelf there behind some stone doors. So it climbed to the lowest shelf, highest shelf, and lowest shelf there behind some stone jars. There was some stone jars. Stood a big bag of brown sugar. There was a, what was there in the cupboard? Big brown sugar and jars. Some jars are present. The little Mickey nailed a hole. Nailed is bite. Make a bite. A small bite to the brown sugar bag. Hole in the bag. Then he invited his friends to have some sugar. So, what he did, Mickey, Mickey, what he did, sugar, sugar bag. So, nail, nail means bite it. Nail means what? Bite it. It bite it. It make a hole to the brown sugar and it calls our friends to eat. The two little mice nibbled and nibbled stood back. The little Mickey nailed a hole in the bag. Then it in, he, he invited his friends to have some sugar. The two little mice nibbled and nibbled. Misty thought it was the most delicious thing he had ever eaten. How lucky Mickey is he though has he ate. Suddenly the door opened with a bang. The cook Mary wanted to get some flour. So they nibbled her. The Mickey, the Misty is thinking, oh, what Mickey, what a good delicious food you are eating. Ever eaten? How lucky, how lucky you are Mickey. Saying yes or no. So the Misty is feeling, what a delicious food is Mickey is eating every day. Every day. Suddenly the door opened. With a bang, with a bang sound, with a bang sound. When you suddenly open the door, a big sound, with a big sound. The cook Mary, who was a cook? Mary. Who was a cook? Mary. Wanted to get some floor, wanted to get some floor. So, in the cupboard, there were there are many things, not only sugar, there are Floor also, they have stored the floor. Section 2. When whispered Mickey. So, Mickey, what it says? Ah, someone has come, run away. Then they run as fast as they could. They rushed into the little hole from where they had come in. So, Mickey is saying, he run, all of you run as fast as they into the little hole, into the little hole from where they had come, from where they had come. 
four misty was shaking all over. So the country mouse do not know the things how to run. Yes or no? So the Mickey is very fast. So the misty was uh, shaking all over. Shaking all. These are the new things to misty. However, Mickey said that's nothing. She will soon go away. Then we can go back. So the Misty was afraid in there. So hey, what is this? They may beat us. So Mickey said, no, she may, she will not leave for a long time. She will move her. Then we can go back. So she will go away. Then we will go back. After the cook had gone away and shut the door. So the cook Mary had gone away. Again she shut the door. They stole it softly back. This time Mickey had something new to show Misty. He took Misty into a corner on the top shelf. The big jar of resigns. The resigns. The grapes. The dried grapes are known as the resigns. So the Mickey took to Misty to a top shelf. The corner shelf. So the resigns are stored in the jar. Out of the jar onto the shelf and began to nibble at it. It was even better than the brown sugar. It was better than the brown sugar. What is that? Resigns. 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 The dried grapes are known as resigns. So, Nikki took to a top, top shelf which are stored in the resigns are stored in the jar. So, Misty feels that resigns are better than the sugar. Resigns are better than the sugar. A big jar of resigns stood there open. After much tonguing and pulling, they got a large resign. So, what they have did the mouses, they have pushed the jar. So, some of them, they fell down the resigns. A huge of the resigns, they fell down. Thing and pulling. They got a large resigns out of the jar onto the shelf and began to nibble at it. This was even better than the brown sugar. Misty liked the taste so much that he ate it as fast as he could. So Misty is a country village. Village mouse. So it, 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 did, not, it did not eat um, the resigns before. Before that uh, it did not eat the resigns. So first time it is eating the resigns it feels uh, very happy and it's, uh, it feels that uh, the resigns are very good in taste. Misty liked the taste so much and that he ate it uh, as fast as full. All at once they heard a scratching at the, the door and a sharp loud meow. Yes or no? So while eating the resigns uh, as fast as they could uh, all at once they heard a scratching sound. So who will scratch? The cat. At the door and sharp loud meow. Okay, now children. So today we have completed the two sections. Tomorrow we will complete the third and fourth section. So read the lesson once again. Read the page number 15 and 16. Homework. Read it. Read page number 15 and 16. Revise your lesson by reading the textbook. Read the textbook. Thank you, children.